Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with another aftermarket kit here. The Jack Devastators for the Reclaimer 18 shotgun. And some people have been loving on it. Some people have been hating on it. Let's take a good look and see how it affects the game. First, the Jack Devastators themselves. You can see that the range goes down to 2.3 meters, but the minimum damage range is 13.1, so you can do some damage out there. Headshot damage, this is for a single Reclaimer is 100 all the way down to the lower torso and upper legs at 75. So if you get two shots into the upper legs, it's going to be a one-shot kill. Recoil, we're not going to worry about. The hip fire spread, well, we may want to have a look at that, and that is 6.5 degrees per second, which is a lot. The handling, reload quickness, fairly decent for a shoddy at 2.8 seconds. That's a 60% improvement. Empty reload is only 3.3 seconds, so we're somewhere around an SMG reload speed, which is good. Sprint to fire 70 milliseconds. That's pistol range, so you can get those shotgun pellets out there fairly quickly and swap speed we're not going to worry about it because we're going to use the quick grip gloves let's take a look at the rest of the attachments the grip tape it improves the tack stance which isn't really a big deal for us but the sprint to fire speed down to 70 milliseconds the stole tack laser as you might imagine, it attacks the tack stance, which we're not going to worry about here, but the hip fire goes down the min and the max. It doesn't have any downsides to it, surprisingly enough. The X10 full choke, we got to have this one. The effective damage range is improved by 10% as the minimum damage range at 7%, and then... Just for a little bit of troll, and I went ahead and put the dragon's breath on because Grandpa gets kills after wounding somebody, and the shells burn them until they've bought the farm. I considered the 12 gauge slug, and I did play with those for a while, but I found that they weren't very accurate. So let's take the Jack Devastators, the Reclaimer Akimbo, into the shooting range and see if we can get any hits at all with it. First, let's go all the way up. Nothing. So at 10 meters, we're hosed. Tell you what, let's try the slugs and see what they do for us. So at 10 meters, we can get a gag. We can't even get a hit out. But no guarantee there because, you know what? Just like with the dual Lockwood, very inaccurate with the slugs. I think there may need to be a fix to that. Let's take the Reclaimer 18 Akimbo mode with the Jack Devastators onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's increasingly annoyed enemies. Let's go. As we're waiting to spawn in, let's take a look at the requirement to get the Jack Devastators. Week 8 challenges... And they were pretty easy. Basically, just play a few games, get five of the seven of these, and none of them were hard, and you'll end up with the Jack Devastators. Have a quick look. Final challenges of the season, by the way. All right, let's get into this. These things only have a two and a half meter range, roughly, and you can see that the first GAC with it and the third one there was due to the fire, the dragon shells. So people that say the dragon shells aren't worthwhile, they continue yeah. to burn once they hit an enemy, especially an enemy wearing a skin of sugar there. Melt the sugar and that guy there, he should have been laying if he sunned himself on the deck chairs there. There's Sugar Man, and we just absolutely blew him away. Before we bought the farm, of course. And all the enemies are dead there. Reloads are pretty quick. You only get four shots. Really eight total if you pull both triggers, which that's what Grandpa does. Ooh. Fish are nibbling. Where are the fish nibbling from? There's a fish. Look more like a zombie. Whoa, we don't want to get on board that vehicle. Shoot our buddies. Whoop. Uh-oh. That was a quick gack of Elvis. 
Elvis is wearing purple, which isn't entirely unheard of with Elvis. He likes his purple suits. The king. And, of course, there was the white furry tribble, other, otherwise known as Sugar Man. And these guys here were looking in the wrong direction. But you can see that you shoot fairly quickly. And it doesn't have to be... You don't have to be within two meters. You can see that I started that guy a fire. I lit him up. That guy's lit up. You can see the twinkling on the X there, the hit marker, which says Attention. they're burning. No, oh, what happened there? So do I think these are overpowered? Uh, yeah, in tight formation, they are OP. But if you're on a map with mostly long lanes, whoa, that guy stepped on my proximity mind as he gacked poor old grandpa. If you have long lanes mostly, then you're going to end up eating a lot of lead. And I'm telling you, eating lead is just not healthy. There goes somebody that's trimming the hedge there. There's a purple something or another. Great man. There he is again. And that was more than three meters, so it was a one shot kill there. And you've got to keep in mind that you're shooting two weapons. So, although the damage falls off past two and a half meters, you're still doing some damage, and take that some damage and double it. And you're gonna get still get some one shot kills, five, six meters. But not that time. Grandpa's putting out the welcome mats, and we went ahead and won on that one. Okay, we get cell ship. Grandpa setting some folks on fire. I tell you what, this was good. This combination here is definitely punishes the knifers because you blow them into tomorrow. They want to come knife you, they end up flying backwards. There's a zombie. And there's some, well, I finally uh, died after, some bald after I guy got without a shirt. It's a little strange. All right, Grandpa's soaking a little bit here. There's Baldy without a shirt. What should we name that guy? I think he's trying to be a man magnet there. There he is again. And him to bloom into tomorrow. d -res. You can see the guy is still... Whoa, the knifer came out and got Grandpa. But I tell you what, I just made a hobby of abusing that guy. That time Which the fire killed killed the enemy. That time, the second shot blew him away. There's somebody on fire. There's the man magnet, and he is gone. Derez. And Grandpa even took the knifer and meleeed him. That's pretty interesting. Elvis comes sliding in. One of his there's the knife for one of his famous things to do during his act. Was to slide across the stage. Actually, I don't know. Anybody ever see Elvis do any sliding? Well, you just saw him there. Oh, knife forgot me again. But we'll end up blowing him away. Like I said, we've made a habit of abusing him. There's Agador Spartacus from the movie The Birdcage. Grandpa only has one shot left and it's for the for the man magnet. Grandpa's gonna soak a little bit, get some points, help win the game. And you can see that we're burning people. The with this. 
So as a minimum, you're going to get an assist. You set somebody on fire there. The knifer was indecisive. Grandpa was very decisive. Gak the knifer. I think I it looks pretty cool to see these things out in front of you. There's the man magnet. And it looks like Another the fire guy. There's somebody who put his derriere right in Grandpa's face. It's kind of weird. Enemy. Oh, knifer. Where is he? Uh, he got away. That knifer didn't, though. You can see there are people burning all over the place. Zagador Spartacus. Zombie blown away. Quick triple kill. Pull pull the trigger three times. Get three gags. Grandpa's going to soak some more. Pull out the Ronetti. Behind me, guys. Just in case I need a long range kill. Mad mag Man magnets out of there. Oop, I blew away the, uh, the trophy. The trophy. Oh, okay. They killed We're my just trophy. soaking. Like a jar of sun tea. I don't know if y'all ever did iced tea where you put water in a tea bag in a big jar and leave it out in the sun, hot day, and the sun will steep the tea, then bring it in, put ice in it. You got you some good iced tea. With a shotgun, you can get 60 this meter guy is burning as he's climbing. Oh, it's Elvis. I had I made a video on it in MW2. It's one of my first 10 videos. Actually, I think it was more like four. Looking for the enemy. Set them on fire, then put them out of their misery. Ugh. Grandpa didn't like that one. So, uh, some of the guys I was teamed up with, and I'm teamed up with almost a full That's probably okay group here, choppers are dangerous. said they didn't like this weapon because they thought it was underpowered. And, and it was strange because in my mind I was thinking, wow, this up. weapon is very much overpowered. There's Agador, Spartacus, the zombie gets Grandpa. I mean, it's the only aircraft that... Every so if you've unlocked the weapon, let me know what you think. I think on small design. maps, it is absolutely deadly, especially with the Dragon's Breath. That's the key to it, because I got a lot of kills after the fact. Even after I died, I got some afterlife kills from the shells burning after wounding the enemy. So you can see they were making the enemy less healthy and less healthy so sometimes I didn't need a second shot sometimes it made the second shot more effective even if it was beyond the like right there if it was beyond the five meter or two and a half meters Agador came back for us and we gacked him I pull the trigger and nothing happens sometimes So if you've unlocked it, I'd like to hear from you because, like I said, I was the only one really that was singing the praises of these two Akimbo Reclaimer 18s. Now, some of the guys found some good Reclaimer builds that they liked, but those weren't Akimbo. So let me know if you've unlocked the Akimbo and what you think about it because you guys are good about giving me your opinion on things and I truly do value your opinion. Don't value that zombie's opinion though, so we blew him away. So we burned somebody on the head glitch. Shooting at our buddies. Like and subscribe is always appreciated and more than I can say because the community is growing. And I'd like your help with it. Helps me. Helps the family. Yeah, we won that one. Grandpa got the got the last kill. Oh, that was so, the gay cheers and peace in, to uh, you. That movie.